Hi guys, welcome back to Molly Image. Today I'm doing another come thrift with me. Uh, thank you guys so much for your likes and comments on my last thrift with me, and which is why I decided I'd do another come thrift with me. Since you liked it so much, I did say if you like it, I'll do another one, so here we are. If this is your first time, hi, my name is Roche. I'm a lover of fashion, the business of fashion. I'm also a little obsessed with vintage. Now, today was a bit unexpected i went to see my nieces in new york and they you know have been watching youtube videos they have seen all the come thrift with me's and they've been you know asking to go thrifting for a while so since i was having an auntie day i decided okay i'll take them thrifting see if they like it it's their very first thrift trip <laughs> so hopefully they like it their parents aren't into thrifting so i went a little rogue by taking them whenever they go out with auntie it's usually a rogue day it's usually junk food or some crazy expedition so today's auntie day was you know taking them thrifting so so i'll go into the actual thrifting video portion and then i'll show you what i got afterwards today i'll be doing a uh, come thrift with me in new york city so hopefully i find something good as usual i always want vintage hopefully to find some unique pieces so i'm really hopeful to see what i can get today i it's a real treat for me i actually picked my nieces up so i have <laughs> Kay kayla and i have deja in the back so this is their first time thrifting so i'm happy to take them with me as well i don't know what they're looking for. What are you looking for? Vintage as well. I love vintage things. Um, I love the 90s and early 2000s. Okay. So I'm looking for more exotic pieces. So like just 2000s. Uh-huh. So of course, you know, they're looking for Y2K stuff. <laughs> as you'd expect. So, well, let's see what we find. This should be a fun one. Chanel-esque tweed jacket by Herbert Gossman. And then we have just this little sheer number. Good for layering. I was looking for a light wash 
like gray jeans so I have this Topshop Moto J with like the distressed knees and the Levi's 721 high rise but this is just a plain jeans I just saw this little one by Zara with some sheer as well I like the flute on the sleeves I like the floral at the case but we'll see this little Nirvana t-shirt um, two little crop tops here this one I think they cut it a little more so it's a bit jagged here I don't think that's supposed to be intentional so maybe not <laughs> and this is by Wesley so oh, this one was from Pretty Little Thing so these are a midi and then we have this dress by Zara. We'll see. <laughs> I saw this one by Juicy Couture. It's brand new with tags. It was originally $306, so maybe. I just saw this like chocolate brown button up. And then I liked the color combination for this leopard print. So let's see. Loving the cinematography. <laughs> <laughs> try on when I get home but um this was such a good day you loved you you liked it yes mm -hmm. yes I was very happy with what I got <laughs> so you like thrifting yeah, yeah. I want to go thrifting more you want to go again yeah. <laughs> well there you have it um so fun auntie day I took them thrifting and they enjoyed it so I'm pleased um so yeah I'll show you what I get got when I got when I I'll show you what I get when I get home. That shows you how hungry I am. So we're going to get some food. <laughs> and then I'll go into the try-on section. Okay, guys. So I think I left my receipt in the car. But what I remember the cashier saying it was $91 and some cents. And this is my loot. <laughs> These are the things I have. I think I probably got six pieces six or seven pieces and you'd have seen from the selection i whittled down from those pieces typically i'd stay away from h&m i'd stay away from zara you know these people have sales all the time i don't necessarily need to find them there except if there was something that you didn't get your hands on from a zara or an h&m collection such as the marnie i didn't actually end up taking the marnie um I'm not sure if I regret it yet, <laughs> but in instances like that where you kind of missed out and then you see it uh, thrifting, then, you know, that's when I more zone into those pieces. Well, I had no intentions of going into that spiel, so I guess my subconscious is leading me into the first piece. <laughs> and so the reason that was on my mind is because um, the first piece I'm showing you is this Zara dress, and it is this velvet bodycon um, ruched dress now I actually bought this piece when I bought it however the only size I could have found at the time was a medium but sometimes Zara uh, will run smaller especially certain lines which one was this this is the Zara woman now the traholic is the one that tends to run smaller that I could get away with the medium. I didn't pay attention to the label in this. Now, Zara woman, I have to stick to my size or size down, which I just thought, you know, it's a bodycon. It should be, a medium should be fine. When I got the medium, it was too big and I did end up selling it on my Poshmark. So then finding it in a small, I'm like, okay, I didn't get to wear it the last, when I did buy it, so, you know maybe this is my chance so <laughs> i ended up getting the zara velvet dress i think it'll be very cute i love velvet for fall so you know 
it's probably not for now, but I still wanted to give it a try now that I found it in my size because this has been sold out for ages. So first up is the Zara dress and it does fit as I thought it would. Um, I've just paired it with these strappy heels. I have this vintage Dior perfume perfume pouch so if I'm just taking a few little things I think this would also be a nice addition just to walk with extra lipstick my card and my keys my phone definitely would not fit in here but since it's so delicate for the night if I wanted to just add a pop of color I could just walk with this tiny little clutch in my hand the other option I have for a night time bag would be just this little Louis Vuitton papillon pouch and so this would be instead of going for the red I could go for the green as a pop of color and this would you know it still wouldn't hold my phone it would hold just about the same as the vintage Christian Dior uh, perfume pouch but if I'm looking for just something to pair it with for nighttime I think I definitely go for a micro bag with this dress and just let the dress speak for itself. But yeah, so this is the look. Sticking with dresses, I also showed you, this is one of my options. This is the Juicy Couture lace dress. It has a slight flare on the sleeves, which I really liked. And it's more of like the Gopur I think Gopur is what they call it, this lace where it's just um, very intricate. I also just like this little, these two little balls at the end of this um, tie here. I really like the neckline as well. This is a size zero. I haven't tried it on just yet, but I'm hoping it will fit. <laughs> but the fact that it was new with tag, uh, I thought I'd try it just to see and if it doesn't fit me I can always um, pass it on so that's item number two this is the Juicy Couture dress and this is what this looks like probably just grab this little vintage bag for this and keep it nice and monochromatic and in full black but I definitely like this um i think i would keep it let me know in the <laughs> let me know in the comment section if this is a keep i definitely play up the drama of it with my bucket hat and yeah so i'm loving this as well i think overall this is a really good thrift trip and i'm loving all the pieces so let me know what you guys think the third item is this Topshop Moto Jamie jeans and I was looking for a gray wash, a gray wash like skinny jeans and I chose this over the Levi's. I like that it already had the distressing on the knees so I went with this. I don't wear a lot of these thinner stretchy jeans but I think this will work. It's a nice high rise and it should be flattering enough on me. <laughs> I got this in a 28 waist so it's not gonna be too like sucking on to me especially in the heat that's the last thing you need so i think this will be fine but i decided to give this one a try and so this is the third item i got so next is a top shop motor jeans i've paired it with just a silver um slip-on by via spiaga with a little kitten heel sorry about this anklet it's a broken <laughs> It's a broken necklace that I, it couldn't fit on my neck. This is just a part of it. And I threw it on my ankle, it fit, and now I can't get it off. So <laughs> it might be throwing it off a little bit, but yeah, it's, it's my, my nails are bending every time I try to get, <laughs> get the hook. But anyhow, so this is the gray jeans, high-waisted. I don't have a lot of silver accessories, but whenever I put gray on, I like to throw this um pearl chain belt on i've paired it with my burnout scorpio t this is like a little inside joke to myself growing up i thought i was always scorpio but after a certain age i realized i was more sagittarius than i was scorpio so having a scorpio t-shirt is like 
a joke, but I really liked it. <laughs> and so I've paired it with this. So this would be a nice daytime look. I also just threw on this all black um, rectangular Ray-Ban just for the fun of it. So this is what this looks like just as casual but if I was dressing it up a little more I'd definitely throw a jacket on. So this is one of my favorite jackets. This is a vintage 80s jacket. I swapped out the black buttons for these silver ones. I put them on myself and I think with the gray on gray look this would go really good together and if I were to add a bag I think powder blue goes really well with gray. I haven't officially <laughs> revealed this bag to the YouTube family but this is the Prada Galleria bag. I think they call this the micro um, but all together see if I can get some more light here all together this would be my final look for this. Moving into tops, I did go ahead and purchase the cheetah print by Coats Basic. I just really liked the color of this. It's like a muted taupey color and I think this would go well with a lot of like beiges and, and, and browns and even black and it's a good layering piece. So I really wanted to do this and I love a mock neck. So when I saw this as well, it's definitely up my street and it's thin enough to that I could wear it now and then transition into the fall. So I definitely love the coloring of this and it feels so soft as well. It's so nice and soft and lightweight. Just so just the feel of it was, you know, enough to convince me to keep it. I got another top and it is this uh, brown shirt sleeve button down. This is by New York and Company. I love the pockets. Um, I love how cinched it is. So this is, I thought this would be a great piece for styling. So this is the next item that I got. What was that? Three, four, five. I have two more pieces. So in all, I got seven. So this is a cheetah print shirt sleeve mock neck top. I've just thrown it on with a pair of brown linen pants and I've kept this silver pewter uh, strappy sandals instead of like bright silver. I think the pewter tones work really well with this And I think this would even still go with the baby blue bag and just that little pop of color all still within like a cooler tone So it would definitely still work. And so this is that top So this is the final top. I just thought So this is the final top. I just thought I'd throw it on over the mock neck and just have that color peek out a bit. Pairing it again with that linen brown pants, I've kept all the accessories pewter. It's still in the cool tone. I think this brown and the the taupe from the cheetah print goes really good together. It's a bit booby. <laughs> it's called, it is a stretch stretchier material, but um, I'm not sure how much room. I have under here but still I do like the look of this. Now the thing with thrifting in the city there is typically more modern pieces from what I've seen in Goodwill. There's not a large selection of vintage pieces but I'm so glad when I found this jacket which I could not leave. <laughs> I could not leave this jacket. The fit was so good and I just love the colors of this and it's like a muted pinky purple tweed jacket and I just could not. Now they had this product as a good pick and this was originally $39.99 and $40 for a vintage jacket like this, especially from like vintage brands like Herbert Grossman, you know you're gonna get a well-made, really good quality piece. So if I'm searching for uh, vintage jackets, whether it's on eBay or Poshmark or any of the other um, reseller site where I could find vintage pieces, I would definitely have paid $40 for a jacket like this. So finding it at that price is not a deterrent for me. But I do think I got a discount on this because the color of the day was green, I think. So I ended up paying like $25. So this is one of the pieces why <laughs> I ended up spending $91. The rest I think are standard prices, but this one with a specific marked price, I got a discount 
of $40, which I think $40 would have been fine for, you know, this jacket. Now, the final piece I got, I went ahead with the slides with the pearl on top. Now, I do have, um, I do have mules. I have a Manolo Blahnik flat mules. I also have a Prada mules, but they both have heel. And so when I saw this flat mules, I couldn't resist. This is like brand new in perfect condition. Now, I do not know the brand. It's called, it's by Manavo. I'm not familiar with the brand, but it is, it feels so good. The quality is so good. They're in here. It's like a padded, padded. It's like a padded footbed. So when you put your foot in it, it feels really cushioned and nice. Under here, it says handmade. So I'm not sure of the brand, but it's just, you can feel the quality in the, in the slides and just the detail of the, the padding, you know, it's to make it more comfortable. Even the jewel feels, you know, well sturdy on. It's not like, you know, it's not like glued on or something that I think is gonna fall off quickly. So I just decided to go ahead and grab these. So uh, I pretty, pretty much, I'm really stoked with my haul. Of course, the high point is my vintage jacket. And I think this is a close second. I believe this was, these were $20, but that's one of the reasons why I ended up <laughs> spending $90. Between the vintage jacket and the slides were already half of <laughs> the cost of what I spent. So that is what kind of like sent the budget way up but i'm really happy with my purchases so i just swapped out my gray jacket i'm wearing the same jeans but i wanted you to see the fit of this purple jacket it is so good and it still works nicely with my blue prada bag and so oh my goodness this is such a good fit there is a button loose here but that's an easy tack on but the fit oh my god this is so good it's a vintage size four and it fits perfectly and even if i wore this closed this would have been this would be so flattering on as well and i just i just i just had to i just had to get this this is such a good look and i absolutely love this jacket I'm not sure if you can see the tweed the color of the tweed better i'm just like with the blue that goes great with a bag and there's a little purple in there and just how it's woven. It is so good. It's such good quality. I couldn't leave it. And um, the buttons, this is what the buttons look like, but it's just such good quality and, and I could not pass up on this. So guys, I said thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking with me for another Come Thrift With Me. I'll throw in a few more of these if these are the type of videos you like to see. And um, and if you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love if you could join the family by subscribing. I'd also love for you to like this video. Let me know in the comment section which piece is your favorite, which look was your favorite. Also, let me know about those dresses. Are they a keep or do I keep them moving? <laughs> but that's it. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.